Bali Yatra, which literally means the journey to Bali, is a festival that commemorates the rich maritime history of Odisha and is celebrated throughout the state. In the historic city of Cuttack, a week-long event is organized starting from the day of Kartik Purnima, the full moon night in the month of Kartik when the winds shift and begin to flow from the north. Due to the geographical location of Kalinga, this area saw the growth of ports as early as the 4th or 5th century BC. Some of the famous ports like Thamralipti, Manikpatna, Chelitalo, Palur and Pithunda allowed India to connect to other countries via the sea. The many rivers, sheltered ports and the ocean by its sides provided an ideal environment for sea voyages or Samudra Yatra. Soon, the Kalingas had trade links with Ceylon, Java, Borneo, Sumatra, Bali and Burma. Bali formed a part of the four islands that were collectively called Suvarnadipa, today known as Indonesia. The most important Indian export was cotton textiles. Excavations in Southeast Asia also show evidence of carnelian beads and a variety of metal ware. Indian imports included Chinese silks via ports in Vietnam and camphor from Sumatra. The islands of Indonesia would have been a source of cloves, nutmeg and other spices. Local traditions ascribe Bali Yatra to the 3rd century BC when 2,000 families from Kalinga are believed to have migrated to Bali. The celebration of Bali Yatra on the bank of river Mahanadi is a reminder of the state's cultural heritage and maritime legacy. The traders of Odisha, called the Sadaba Poors, undertook voyages along the sea trade route on huge boats called Boitas from this place on Kartik Purnima. Till today, Kartik Purnima is considered an auspicious day by the people of Odisha in remembrance of the brave sailors who would start their voyage on this day in the hope of achieving success in trading. The people of Kalinga not only maintained enduring commercial ties with these countries but also developed strong cultural relationships. Bali Yatra is not just a simple ritual of sailing boats on the river Mahanadi on the day of Kartik Purnima but is also a celebration of the ancient maritime tradition of the state and the economic glory it brought to Odisha. Streams of people from nearby villages arrived before dawn to place their little boats in the waters of the Mahanadi and watch them float away. A cool breeze blowing from the north ensures that the boats flow in the right direction. The full moon makes the crashing waves glimmer thereby creating an ethereal atmosphere for the festival. As per tradition, everyone waits for the sun to rise before leaving the banks of the river. Families, especially women and children, gather at the edge of the river or even a water body if there is no river in the vicinity. This is how the families of the ancient mariners would have bid goodbye to their loved ones when they left on their long and arduous journeys. Bali Yatra festival is associated with the legend of Tapui and rituals like Bhalukuni Osha or Khudurukuni Osha and Bada Osha. The story goes that there was a wealthy merchant, a widower, who had seven sons and a daughter. The daughter the youngest was called Tapui and her father and brothers doted on her. One year, the merchant decided to take all his sons with him on a long voyage he was undertaking. He left Tapui in the care of his seven daughters-in-law with clear instructions 
that they take good care of the young girl. Unfortunately, Tapoi's sisters-in-law secretly disliked her and used this opportunity to mistreat her. She was made to cook, clean the cowshed and do all the washing. They also did not give her enough to eat. After several months of tolerating all the physical and mental abuse, Tapoi, unable to bear it any longer, ran away to the forest. There she prayed to Goddess Mangala, a form of Durga, who blessed her. A few days later, her father and brothers returned, unexpectedly early. They soon realized what had happened and brought Tapoi back from the forest. The evil sisters-in-law were punished. This folktale not only hints at the tradition of long oceanic voyages, but also expresses some of the inner anxieties of those who made these voyages. When will we get back home? What will happen to those left behind? The ritual of Kudurukuni Osha or Bhalukuni Osha is the worship of Goddess Mangala by young girls to pray for the safety, prosperity and good health of their brothers in remembrance of the puja done by Tapoi. This is a beautiful example of the concern of sisters for their brothers. Through the ritual of Bada Osha, Lord Shiva is worshipped to seek his blessings. According to another legend, which is less popular, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the great Vaishnavite saint from Bengal, first landed on the soil of Qatar after crossing the sand bed or Bali of Mahanadi River on his way to Puri on this auspicious day. Kalinga in ancient times had a very commanding position in the maritime activities of the country. Brave and adventurous Kalinga sailors were making daring voyages to different far-off lands of the world and had maritime contacts with the Roman Empire, Africa, Persian coast, Arabian countries in the west, in addition to the trading ties with the countries in the east and southeast. Odisha's glorious maritime past has been proved from the excavated materials that include Roman coins, Kushan coins, Chinese ceramic pieces which have been found in different parts of Odisha. The Kalingas constructed the large boats called Boitas and with the help of these they traded with the Indonesian islands. These ships had copper hulls and could carry up to 700 men and animals aboard. Interestingly, the Bay of Bengal was once called the Kalinga Sea as it was thronged by these ships. The dominance of the Kalingas over the sea routes can be further understood from the fact that Kalidasa, in his Raghuvamsa, referred to the king of Kalinga as the lord of the sea. The frequent trading of commodities with Bali also led to the interchange of ideas and beliefs. Uriya merchants formed settlements in Bali and influenced its culture and ethics. This led to the growth of Hinduism in the region. Hinduism blended well with Balinese concepts and even today a form of Balinese Hinduism is practiced in Bali. Sarala Das in the Mahabharata, Narasimha Sena in his Parimala Kavya, Yashwant Das in Tika Govinda Chandra mentioned maritime terms like Boita, Naha, Sadava, Sadavani, Manga, Nabika, etc. and islands like Ceylon, Java, Bali, Suvarnadipa, Brahmadesha, etc. The ancient texts also mention Kalinga Sahasika while referring to the brave sons of Kalinga. Similar festivals are also seen in Bali and Thailand. The Masakapan K. Tukad of Bali sees the floating of small boats 
in memory of maritime ancestors. In Thailand, the Loi Krathong festival pays respect to the goddess of water and the Buddha. People gather around lakes, rivers and canals to release floating lanterns or krathongs on waterways. Among the ports of Odisha, Tamralipti in modern-day Tamlu in the Medinipur district of West Bengal served as the main gateway for the innumerable sea-going traders, travellers and missionaries leaving or coming into Kalinga. Mathematician, astronomer, astrologer and geographer Ptolemy in the 2nd century AD referred to Tamralipti as Tamai Litis. King Tissa of Ceylon had sent envoys to the court of Emperor Ashoka who came and went through this port. Ashoka too left from this port to go to the island of Ceylon and during the visit succeeded in converting Tissa to Buddhism. Sankhamitra, the daughter of Ashoka, sailed from this port to Ceylon with the sacred Bodhi tree. Fahien, in the 5th century AD, saw it as a strong maritime settlement of the Buddhists and left for Ceylon from this port. In the 7th century AD, Huan Sang visited the place and saw about 50 Hindu temples and a few Buddhist monasteries. Though on the declining stage, Tamralipti counted to be a Buddhist center even when I Singh visited the port in 671 AD. Thus, Tamralipti was an important seaport on the east coast of ancient India from which people travelled to China, Ceylon and Southeast Asia. The festival of Bali Yatra is accompanied by fun, merrymaking and waves of nostalgia. People gather in large numbers on the banks of the Mahanadi in colourful attire to celebrate the glorious maritime history of the state. The celebration features grand fairs, elaborate rides, food and dance. <laughs> Women perform Boita Vandana, a ritualistic worship. The women from the families of the travelling sailors used to perform rituals on the day of Karthik Purnima for the safe journey and return of their sons, which later became a tradition of worship of the boats. They make boats of paper or banana leaf, put lighted lamps inside them and float them down the Mahanadi as a part of the celebrations. The Bali Yatra celebrates the ingenuity and skill of those expert sailors who made Kalinga one of the most prosperous empires of its time. <laughs>